Okay, number five, you can only check one. Faith saves because it is a God-pleasing act, or faith saves because it lays hold of and appropriates the merits of Christ. Let me say that a little bit differently, make sure you got it. Faith saves because it receives the merits of Christ. So which would be the correct one? Two, Two exactly. Now, is faith a God-pleasing act? Well, yeah, it's a, yeah, obviously he's happy that we believe in Jesus, but what would be wrong with that? Anybody pick up? You, you, you all answered it rightly, but you, do you know why? What's wrong with that first one? What does it make faith into? What? A work. Yeah, a work. You see, and the reason we're saved by faith isn't because we're doing something, right? But because faith is the only way to receive this. Now, what, what can happen with Christians, I'll just say across the board, can happen to Lutherans too, I suppose, but sometimes because Christians don't understand what being saved by faith means, rather than seeing faith as something that they receive what Jesus has won for them, which is all grace, they look at faith as something they're doing. And this is particularly so, as a general rule, in denominations where you have to make a decision for Jesus. Okay? Because the idea then, then we turn faith into a work, and this can breed then self-righteousness, and holier than thou, because, well, I believed in Jesus. Too bad you didn't, see? So we have to be real careful not to turn faith into a, a work. Uh, the way I usually show this, well, I guess I'll use my big Bible. Let me use the smaller Bible, yeah. Let's pretend this Bible is what Jesus Christ has done for us. Justification, forgiveness, reconciliation with God, okay? And when the word, that message, is preached and taught, or you read it, it's like it's being offered to people, right? Hey, believe in Jesus Christ. You know, all your sins are forgiven. And then pretend my hand is faith. Then faith receives this message of Christ, right? Okay. And then we can say we're saved by faith. Now watch this. This isn't what saves us. Faith isn't what saves us. Christ saves us. Are you with me? The only reason we can say faith saves us is because faith receives Jesus Christ. And the reason I'm showing you this, not only because it's true, and that we don't turn into self-righteous, holier-than-thou people, okay, but that also is the answer to your question when somebody says, well, I know you believe in Jesus, but you know other people believe in things just as sincerely as you do. Where are they making the mistake when they say that? You know, they say, well, you know, the Muslim, he believes just as sincerely as you do. Where are they going wrong? Yeah, okay, in other words, they're focused on here. The Muslim believes what he believes, just, so the all focus is where? On the faith. No, 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 no. You just can't have faith in anything, right? You've got to have the right faith. And so the only faith that will justify you before God is the message of Jesus Christ, not Allah. See? So it doesn't matter how sincerely. You're not saved because you sincerely believe something. Yeah. Paul talks about that in Romans uh, 11, 9, 10, and 11 with the Jews. He says, I can tell you that my fellow Jews are zealous for God, yet without, anybody know the phrase? Without knowledge. They have the wrong faith. So technically speaking, faith doesn't save us. Jesus saves us. And the only reason the Bible says that we're saved by faith is that's the only way to receive the promises of Christ. 